Okay guys, we're going to start putting our mechanical front wheel drive clutch pack back together. Got all the parts cleaned up, got my new, there's my old frictions, I didn't, they, they, the friction material was good on them, but they, a lot of, a lot of that bearing material that had come apart was stuck to them, I didn't want to put them back in there. So, put you a new, that's your thrust washer, that plastic one, that's your thrust washer. And they call this the pressure ring. Put that on there. And then, let's see, the first disc you're going to start out with is steel. Put that, oh, I'm, I'm going ahead of myself. Put the hub on. Getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Okay, the hub's on. Now... Start stacking your clutch stack up. Steel friction, steel friction. First one you're gonna put in is the steel. And there's two different clutch packs. One has 10 and 10, and the other one has eight and eight. So this one's the one with eight and eight. I argued with the parts guy for about that a little bit, but. He swore to me that it had 10. I said it does not have 10. <laughs> I tore it apart. I counted them. It only has 8. But give me 10 if that's what you want to do. Come on, baby. Things were going pretty smooth until you came along. Okay. Here's our piston. I need to lube that O-ring up a little bit. I got a new O-ring on there. If I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's another set of thrust washers that needs to go on there. Let's read on that. Okay, install, let's see here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's somebody just taking off on me there. Okay, apply oil to the O ring A and install. Okay, let's see what's after the clutch. I press the bushing. I'm not putting the bushing, there's nothing wrong with it. Disc pass, hold disc pack A. First disc plus you, the first disc you put in must have teeth on the outside, which is going to be a steel. Press the bushing, uh, okay. Put your new O-ring on there. Install the piston. All right, well, I uh, need a little bit of oil. I got some clean oil over here. This is what I dip my, I still gotta clean up the mess after this. I've been hustling, guys. I mean, I've been hustling. And I'm just, right now, I'm just, I'm on my third wind right now, you know. <clears throat> Trying to get all this shit done and trying to do a good job of it while I'm at and the fucking shop's an absolute disaster. I just don't have time. Just like, I don't have time to clean it up. I gotta I need to get shit done here, you know. Okay, so now piston in. Those two reliefs, are those two reliefs supposed to line up with anything? I don't I wouldn't think so, but I'm gonna read that right quick just to make sure. Install the one opening. This says install piston. It doesn't say, it doesn't say anything else. This says install piston. So let's see how much of an ass ache this is gonna be. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit of oil, smear around on the ID of this. The seating surface of the 
where that filling goes. And make sure that that maybe slides in there somewhat decently. Read that and just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But the convex side facing the piston, so that is in there correctly. Now. get I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this hey okay, I got a OTC four and a half inch impact socket it weighs about 30 pounds See if we can collapse that. I wish it was just a little bit bigger actually to go on the outside circumference of that it would be a little bit better. pretty tight yes tonight I am going home and I'm getting on the internet and I'm going to find me a gargantuan pair of snapping pliers I'm not gonna do this shit anymore. I'm getting it through a little bit of improvisation improv uh, improvising on this thing vice grips they're wonderful now I'm just kind of working it around hopefully it doesn't pop on I 
got you, you bastard. Vice grips, they're awesome. Let's make sure it's sealed. It's such a large snap ring and so stiff that I could get it started on this side and I try to pop it in on the other side with the screwdriver and it just pops back out. We got her, man. And let's let the pressure off. I don't give up without a without a fight. Not much for quitting filling my hands up. I'll find a way somehow. Okay, so I'm going to put my seal rings on. Hopefully without breaking one. Be the optimum thing. Spread and get it over that little land there. Oh, okay. I broke these before. It really sucks when you should. I should just ordered like four of them. What I do on these is I just collapse them on one side like that. If I can, just roll it over like that. Put your thumb. Alright. Alright, we got them. And basically, you know, like anything else, stagger your ring gets. And I got this seal on here. And they tell you to put the bearing on this end. That's right. And I don't know how tight it's going to go on there. My bearing here is at the other shop in town. I'm going to buy two of them. I'm going to have two shops. Well, i got three shops. i got one down south now, too. Just turn it upside down, just put it in the press and press it on on there. That is what I will do. That's our shaft set up. And I got a bunch of shims here. So we can do the bearing preload and there's some more shims. I don't know why you sent me two piston seals. You sent me two two of them. Bearings too, there's a new speed sensor. And he sent me 11 clutch discs instead of 8. Let's find out that. Okay, and then on here, hammer time. Bearing race. this on and basically then we'll you know put the put the the pack back in there and then slide the shaft through it and then we'll set our preload on our bearing let me get this bearing pressed on here well that book tells you to put this on after you put the shaft in and all that stuff I just 
think that's kind of stupid. Put your thrust washer on the back side of your gear. I don't think grease is going to hold this heavy pressure ring on there. I know the thrust washer will stay where it's supposed to. Yeah, it might stay there. And then roll your roll it back in there. It's a little tricky, man, doing one of these. Understand about the book. Why don't you just put your bearing? Why don't you just put the bearing in the cup and then shove the shaft through? I don't really understand their whole train of thought. I don't know that bearing slide over this seal rings. Well, yeah. Why would you do what they say to do in the book? Slide the shaft through and all that bullshit. Why would you do that? Why would you just throw the bearing in the cup? Real brainiac shit they got going on there, huh? We're not doing it the way the book says. That's fucking retarded. What we will do is take the bearing cup and stick it down in there. makes way more sense than what they're trying to tell you to do there. Just absolutely retarded. We got our toast washer and our, our uh, pressure ring, they call it, on there. Everything's on there. supposed to be just makes way more sense doing it this way than what the book says Together, 
instead of fighting it the way they wanted you to do it, which actually made no sense. That's the way to do that guys. I mean the book tells you <laughs> to slide the shaft. You can't you slide the shaft through it, stand it over on its end, and you're supposed to slide the thrust washer on, then the pressure ring on, and then you're supposed to put the bearing cup over the shaft. Well you can't even fit the bearing cup between the here and here. It just it didn't work. Well not for me anyway. Okay, well, now we got to set our preload. Well, I got a new bearing quill because this one here, when the shaft sagged and the bearing went out, the pickup wheel for the speed sensor rides around in here and it rubbed a groove into it and it ruined this. So, what you do is you stick the bearing quill on there with your, there's an O-ring on the back side of it back here. Stick a new O-ring on there. Grease it on there because when you turn it upside down to put it on the housing, it's going to fall off. Put a new seal in it. And then uh, put four bolts in it with no shims. If your torque wrench, torque these bolts down to 18 foot pounds. Yeah. 
doing it tightening up. Okay, I think I'm close anyway. I think I bore into the gear here. Wow. Just got a little hook in here. This thing's really starting to piss me off. consistent spot so I've got like 35 thousandths of in 35 thousandths there of in play so you take quite a few shims to get that out so this is a couple of thick ones here I guess I need to get a dial in for it Get a mic and measure those. That's the thickest ones, I think. And uh, yeah, that starts out with the thick ones there. Let me get an outside micrometer. Let's see that fucking thing. I should go get that Lufkin dial indicator my grandpa gave me years ago. I think it's better than the snap one piece of shit. It just doesn't zero. It never stays in any one consistent spot. See, then it goes back past it. I mean, every time. So it's got about 30,000 to end play is what it's close to. I'm going to get outside mic and measure these. I think these are tens is what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to zip the quill back off. Put my shims I think will be right. Well, see how many times it takes me to do this. I got two tens of five, so I got twenty-five thousandths, 
And then I don't know what this little one must be half by, maybe two thousandths, I don't know, two and a half thousandths. I'm going to give her a whirl. Okay. Guess we'll know if it's screwed up if we tighten it down and it won't turn. I feel a little bit of resistance there. Still turning. if we can possibly get to somewhat zero. Okay, get something to steady this thing. Yeah, that's better. Not steady for nothing. One thousand. This back is one to four thousands. I wonder if I should take that real. I think I'm going to take that real thin shim out of there. I'm going to do it. I'd rather be in the middle. I really would. I don't want it too tight because heat. I'm thinking heat expansion, and it's going to be too damn tight. that really thin shim out of there and we'll check it again Eighteen foot pounds. Little steps like this. Well, it's, you know, it'll kind of ensure that this thing will last another ten thousand hours. Getting it set up right. Okay.
thousand pounds. Took a ten, two tens, a five, and then I took that whatever the hell. I think I'll put it back in there, torque it down, color good enough. I guess that's what we'll do. I don't know. Just five thousand ain't much in play, you know. Out of spec. Before it was in spec, so I just get nervous about heat and expansion. You know, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. See that? Let me get my hammer back underneath this. Get it stable. There we go. Let's get this zeroed again. I'm trying to get you guys where you can see that, but I'm gonna have to hold it so. Square on the end. What the fuck is this? This thing's such a fucking piece of shit for a dial indicator. Yeah, I finally found the spot where I need to be. My God. Sloppy, you know. Five thousand. 
deposits. Okay, well, there's a couple, let's see, you know, the plug vent. I gotta put the mechanical front wheel drive solenoid in there, which I think, I wonder if I ought to do that now or, yeah, I'll do it now. Put that in there. And there's a plug here that needs to go in there. And another one over here. Take them out of their housing. Well, everything's back in there. Drive lines in, shields are in. <sighs> Just need oil. And uh, I'll drink some oil in the morning and drive it out of here. Oh. And tomorrow, the Kubota. Put it back together. Eh, kind of something else I was supposed to do down here. Can't remember what it was, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an 8200. I need to put blower cap pressurization motor in and fix an AC discharge line. And I got to get my ass to the house and uh, get the uh, case back hoe together. Got to get it done this weekend. All right, guys. Well, it's been a crazy week. Talk to you later.